Hi, this is Liz Austin Peterson with the Associated Press. I want to ask a question of both Commander Frick and Commander Whitson. I'll ask them separately. Uh, Commander Frick, do you have any concerns or anxieties about having to hurry back on Wednesday either to the Cape or California to give the military as much time as possible to shoot down the spy satellite? And Commander Whitson, do you have any qualms about being in space when the satellite is shot down? Uh, that's a good question. No, we don't have any concerns. Uh, it's obvious to us that uh, DOD and NASA have worked closely together to make sure that there's no problem uh, with uh, the plan that they're going to they're going to do to make sure this satellite is not a risk to anyone on the ground. Uh, we're going to be safely on the ground uh, before they take any action, and the uh, satellite is going to be safely well below the space station. So we don't expect any problems. Certainly on the shuttle, we're not worried about it. They NASA and DOD loves the station crew as much as they love the shuttle. <laughs> so no, we're not worried about it either. This is Robert Perlman with CollectSpace.com. For Peggy and Leland, how did you and your crewmates celebrate your birthdays? Any special gifts or surprises? Great one. We're standing in it, or right, floating in it right now. <laughs> it's, a, it's a beautiful module, and uh, it was great to have company to come up and celebrate with me. And so we've we've had a good time. And plus, I got loads of salsa and uh, chocolate to keep me happy. Flew in from the shuttle uh, the morning of my birthday. I saw. I had a happy birthday sign that Peggy put up uh, in No. 2, and then I uh, had some uh, cake, some very really good chocolate cake last night, and we celebrated in the shuttle, so it was a very good time. Hi, this is Gerhard Dahl with the German Aerospace Center and Space Expo Association. Two questions. First for Hans Schlegel. What was the most difficult task and the most exciting moment for you during the EVA? Please answer in English and German. Well, the uh, most uh, exciting was, of course, the exit, uh, because uh, it's the first EVA, you never know. How do you feel? How is your perception? Uh, uh, and the most difficult, I would say, is to stop, to get in again after you get used to it and you really love it, and uh, then all of a sudden the time is over. You need to get in. Hey, guys. Bill Harwood with CBS News. and. Uh, Peggy, you guys have a STS-123. When you wake up Monday morning, Endeavor is going to be rolling out to the launch pad, and obviously that's an incredibly busy mission that's coming up on March the 11th, I guess, and then, of course, you have your Soyuz flight coming up after that. Can you give us a little sense of what the pace is going to be like uh, getting this flight out of the way and then those next two milestones? Well, and hopefully in addition to those other two milestones, we're going to have an ATV docking. It'll be the first uh, uh, time we dock the automated transfer vehicle provided by ESA. It's like, like the Progress, except it can hold up to five times more uh, cargo as well. So uh, we've got a very exciting uh, next couple of months. Um, Yuri and I and Leo are really looking forward to all the events coming up, and uh, we plan on making it all happen. And for Stan Love, uh, you had an unusual view of the stars. As an astronomer, I'm wondering if you, if you saw anything that made you kind of stop and take note, and if you really appreciated the view you got, a very unique view for an astronomer. Well, actually, I have not seen a star yet up here. <laughs> I've been working hard, and the lights have been on, and I've not had a chance to turn off all the lights um, during a night pass and really see the stars up here. But I tell you what has been amazing to see is the Earth. Um, as an astronomer, you get used to planets as you know, sort of abstractions, um, but screaming along 300 kilometers above one at 8 kilometers per second is just an awe-inspiring experience. You have no idea what the word planet really means until you've seen that. Atlantis Alpha, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. Thank you. Thank you, Atlantis and Alpha, and all the folks participating on the ground. Alpha, we are resuming normal operational communications.